Following some breaking news just a few minutes ago, Texas Senator John Cornyn sent out a chain of tweets on the president's impeachment trial. He's accusing Supreme Court Chief Justice John Roberts of trying to avoid presiding over the proceedings. His first tweet began in all caps, John Roberts wants out of jury duty. He went on to tweet that he's heard that Justice Roberts was, quote, not happy he became a top target of the left during Trump's first impeachment trial and that he wants no further part of this. 618. Seems like the Houston Texans are interviewing someone for their head coaching position almost every day now. The team was originally told to wait until the Chiefs season was over uh, to interview their offensive quarter, Eric Bieniemy. Permission was granted yesterday to go ahead. Bieniemy is uh, someone highly respected by quarterback Deshaun Watson. Someone you'd think the organization would want to keep happy at this point. Speaking yes. of number four, added drama between him and CEO Cal McNair's progress is, is fi in finding new leadership uh, with fans rallying in dw 4 support outside NRG. Uh, Deshaun Watson asked them to go home yesterday for the sake of public safety. Fans still showed up. They say they're fed up. They've showed so much ineptness that we have to, as fans, stand up. It hurts because he loves this city. He wants to be here, and ownership is just not, tr not doing that. Some of them told us if things boil over even more, McNair trades Watson, they'll no longer support the Houston Texans. Oh, my goodness. I know. We need the Scream hotline. That's the, there you we go. We need the Scream hotline, Britta. Good morning. <laughs> Seriously, right? Uh, well, the weather's not going to make you scream because we're not freezing this morning. So yesterday was the end of our cold starts. This morning, we're 30 degrees warmer compared to yesterday. This is a live look over Herman Park. Uh, temperatures right now in the low to mid-60s. This is what we would expect for an afternoon in January, not a morning. Uh, we have a few spotty showers out there, most of them rolling over Sealy and Brookshire, but we have a few getting closer to the North Freeway. These are very light scattered showers around Jersey Village, right on top of the Tomball Parkway. So you're going to have to use your wipers, but that's pretty much it. Shouldn't slow you down too much. We will see more, though, throughout the day. A 20% chance of rain here in Houston through the day. Low 70s this afternoon. You're going to notice a lot of clouds and you're going to feel a lot of humidity. We have a cold front that stalled just to the north of us. So behind that front, we have cold air, but we are stuck to the south of that weather system, and we're going to be here for the next five to seven days. So not a lot of change out there. We'll work in all that humidity. Sea fog will be part of our weather story for Thursday and Friday morning, as well as those scattered rain chances. Now, as we go into the beginning of next week, that's when a cold front rolls through that will actually clear out the skies. So sunshine and temperatures in the 60s showing up on the end of the 10-day forecast. Between now and Saturday, Saturday with our daily rain chances, we're anticipating about an inch to an inch and a half of rainfall. So again, nothing too heavy, but it is going to be that type of weather pattern that you either want, you know, a jacket with a hood or an umbrella so you're prepared when those showers move through. The most substantial rainfall will be north of our area. That's where they could see a solid two to two and a half inches of rain. Here's a full look at that 10 day forecast. Very mild temperatures will be slightly cooler tomorrow, but still in the upper 60s, still above average for this time of year. Then as we get past the weekend early next week, that's that's when that cold front rolls through. We clear out the skies and temperatures go back to the 60s for next week. Let's get you over to Anna V. She's tracking multiple issues. Uh, what's the latest that folks need to know about this morning? That's right. So you need to watch out for the east loop this morning, and I'll have more details on those delays just ahead. But I want to let you know the no parking and bike lanes ordinance is now in effect. The grace period ended January 13th. Any car parked in a bike lane will receive a $100 fine. You can request a waiver for your first offense. You can request that at HoustonTX.gov slash parking. So keep that in mind. Here's a look at the East Loop update. The crash cleared. This was with three vehicle crash moving away from the East Freeway. Your southbound lanes at Turning Basin were impacted this morning. But you can see traffic volumes now moving. No longer looks like a parking lot. What is still in effect is the East Tex Freeway at Aldine Bender. Your southbound lanes blocked by emergency crews. The good news is an additional lane just opened up at as you're moving in the inbound direction. This is a two vehicle crash, so expect delays in the area again on the East Tex Freeway. Want to take you on over back to the East Loop because you're down to four miles per hour moving in the southbound direction again away from the East Freeway. Residual backup is still intact. Over to you. All right, Anna Veed, uh, you know, it's been over a week now since Parler was booted off of Amazon services. The CEO of the controversial social media platform says it's not over for the company yet. We're checking in with Maribel this Tuesday morning.
Hey, the parlor could be back soon. I'll tell you when it's CEO expects to have the service back up and running. That's just ahead. Got a clogged or backed up drain? Running toilet? Call Village Plumbing and Air today for our $55 off special. Our plumbers are background checked, professionally trained, and we guarantee all of our work. Trust your home to Village Plumbing and Air. Call 713 Repairs. This guy. Uh, With the most standard safety features in its class. Nice stop, Mom. Thanks. The all new, fiercely reimagined Nissan Rogue. Get 0% financing for up to 84 months on 13 models, or get a low 229 per month lease on Rogue. It's not enough to offer a competitive curriculum and an inclusive environment. Parents want more. We want STEM programs, technology, and the fine and performing arts. We want an environment where students inspire one another to empower change. We want a school that helps kids discover the truth through faith and traditions. Because Catholic schools believe it's not enough. Until students believe in themselves. Parents, Parents who, who want, want more for, for their, their children, children choose Catholic, Catholic schools. Got a clogged or backed up drain? Running toilet? Call Village Plumbing and Air today for our $55 off special. Our plumbers are background checked, professionally trained, and we guarantee all of our work. Trust your home to Village Plumbing and Air. Call 713 Repairs. I can't stop having these awful dreams. I feel like I'm losing it. Your dad died. You can't outrun your grief. You still having the dreams? Simon says it's normal. Simon, huh? spot right now. You're looking for a way to make some extra cash. Can we outrun our past? Every time that he crossed the line, I didn't say anything. The way he looked at her was the same way he used to look at me. So what do you want to do? Nurses, tonight on NBC. Well, 625 here at KPRC2. Will we see a full return of the social media platform Parler? We're checking in with Maribel. She's got more on that. Uh, first, though, a warning about the country's next COVID relief package. Good morning. Hey, good morning, Owen. Janet Yellen says the U.S. needs to, quote, act big with the next stimulus package. Yellen is President-elect Joe Biden's nominee for Treasury Secretary. She'll be testifying before the Senate Finance Committee today. Our Reuters reports in her prepared remarks, Yellen will tell the committee that right now, with interest rates low, the, quote, smartest thing we can do is act big. Yellen goes on to say she believes the benefits will far outweigh the cost of a bold investment to jumpstart the U.S. economy. Parler CEO believes the social media service will be back by the end of the month. John Mates told Fox News that he was, quote, confident the site will be live by the end of January. Parler became a hub for President Trump's supporters recently, but the social media website was dropped by hosting service Amazon Web Services about a week ago. AWS, AWS said the platform, quote, poses a very real risk to public safety. Looking ahead to the opening bell after the holidays, Dow Futures up 179. Owen and Lisa. All right, let's get that rally going. Maribel, Appreciate it. We'll see you tomorrow. Coming up, biking around the city of Houston is getting a lot easier. Where the city plans to lay out even more bike lanes to keep riders safe. Anna B. Good morning. 626, now your time. 24 minutes is what you can expect from Deer Park to the Greenway Plaza. No issues to report on 225. Crash still working along the East Tex Freeway. Those details just ahead. Britta, drivers also got to watch out for some damp roadways in some areas. Yes, we're going to have pesky rain showers in and out of the forecast for today and the next several days. In addition, in addition to that, really nice mild temperatures. Say goodbye to those cold starts that we woke up to yesterday. We're 30 degrees warmer this morning, waking up in the 60s. I'll let you know how warm it's going to be this afternoon, coming up next. Imagine an all-in-one whole house water treatment system designed to dramatically reduce contaminants from the water you drink, cook with, and bathe in. And true soft water with a reduced slippery feeling of traditional softened water. Clean water, healthier skin. Abacus, you can count on us. When standing is not fun or walking is an effort, you can't enjoy the things you love. 
Then I discovered good feet support could reduce the stress to my feet, knees, and back. So now I actually look forward to getting up and I can walk or work when I need to and still have energy for fun. My only regret is I wish I came to Good Feet sooner because it's time for me to step up my game. I'm Rachel and this is my Good Feet story. Come into a Good Feet store. Thanks to the Good Feet store. It's been said that the sun, sea, and fresh air are the best medicine of all. We couldn't agree more. And at Sandals, we have an abundance of it. Whether you want to stroll hand in hand along a flawless stretch of white sand beach, find a cozy space that was made for romance, or even enjoy a dinner for two at one of our five-star global gourmet restaurants, Sandals has created endless open spaces where love can blossom. Call 1-800-SANDALS. Sounds like another amazing weekend. Brought to you by the Toyota Tundra and Tacoma. Get $1,500 total bonus. Or qualified lessees can lease a new virtually indestructible 2021 Tacoma Special Edition for only $199 a month. Toyota, let's go places. Hi, I'm Alan O'Neill, founder and CEO of Abacus Plumbing, and I'm thrilled to tell you about our new lifetime warranty on select Lennox AC systems. That's right, a lifetime warranty exclusively for Abacus customers. Abacus, you can count on us. This is KPRC 2 News Today. The Houston area man charged after the riots at the Capitol is doing court this morning when he's facing as America remains on alert ahead of Inauguration Day tomorrow. We'll look at the unprecedented security effort and what Governor Abbott is saying about it. The governor will also head to Houston today to talk vaccines, who he's meeting with, and why he's getting some backlash. Retailers are dropping the products of a popular pillow company after the CEO sidles up next to President Trump alleging election fraud. We'll tell you who is also now threatening to sue the same CEO. All right, Amy, good morning, everybody. It's Tuesday, January 19th. I'm Lisa Hernandez. I'm Owen Conflenti. Good morning. Anna Veed will be along shortly to look at what's driving Houston today. First, to Britta. It's a lot warmer than it has been the last uh, so many days. Right? I mean, we kind of got used to those cold nights. Heaters, they do not need to be on this morning. It is a mild start to the day. This is a live look from our tower camera. You can kind of see the humidity on the lens. Waking up to cloudy skies and temperatures right now, close to where we would sit for our afternoon temperatures in January. 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 We're in the low to mid 60s. So this is a big change of pace compared to yesterday. Uh, this afternoon, yet again, we're going to be in the low 70s. We are expecting a few pesky rain showers. In fact, we have a few of them rolling through North Harris County right now. And the best chance of rain is off to the north and west. A 30% chance, 20% chance here in the metro area. Anavid coming up. I'll take you hour by hour with our future cast mall and talk about our rain showers that we're anticipating today. All right. Thank you, Britta, for that update. 631. Now your time on this Tuesday. The East Texas Freeway is what you're taking a live look at right behind me at Aldine Bender. Moving inbound, another lane open. So now three lanes open for you to move on through past this crash. This is a two-vehicle crash. You can see fire crews out there, emergency crews flashing their lights, going to cause quite a bit of delay as you're moving towards the North Beltway this morning. You can already start to see that red color indicating slow traffic again as you're moving towards the North Beltway this morning. Stick to the feeder road as an alternate route. I do have an update on another crash this time working on the East Freeway. Those details just ahead. Owen and Lisa. And Abid, thank you. This morning, America is on alert as our nation prepares to inaugurate Joe Biden as the 46th president of the United States. The final prep work and security detail coordination efforts are being put into place around our nation's capital. The FBI has been busy vetting all 25,000 National Guard troops tasked with protecting Washington, D.C. The Bureau says the move is out of an abundance of caution to ensure not one of the Guard members has any ul ulterior motives. Governor Abbott is calling the move the most offensive thing he's ever heard, and no one should ever question the loyalty or professionalism of the Texas National Guard. FBI has been making progress in arresting more suspected rioters in the wake of the January 6th attack on the Capitol. Channel 2's Brittany Jeffers is downtown, where a Houston-area man will appear in federal court this morning. Brittany. Joshua Lawler will be in federal court in less than four hours, and he is facing a trio of federal offenses. Now, this includes a violent entry as well as disorderly conduct on Capitol grounds. 
due in court. At 10 o'clock this morning, Joshua Lawler is scheduled for a preliminary examination and detention hearing in federal court. This a little after a week after investigators say he drove to Washington, made it into the Capitol, and then documented some of it on his Facebook page. One of those posts appears with the caption, quote, inside the Capitol. Another reads, busting in. Investigators say another appears to show Lawler on the front lines of a physical confrontation with police. As we reported, FBI agents arrested Lawler at his home in spring last week, and Lawler let them search his phone and agents got a warrant for his Facebook account. KPRC legal analyst Brian Weiss says that Lawler's social media and comments are crucial pieces of the government's case against him. Now, investigators on this case say that it was a former co-worker of Lawler's who follows him on Facebook who ultimately tipped off investigators. Reporting live in downtown Houston this morning, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Brittany,